Are you ready? Hey peeps, how's it going? And what can I say? Blake Griffin got us all. Um, for those of you guys who aren't on Twitter, I don't know why. I don't know why you aren't on Twitter. You need to be. And if you are on Twitter, follow our players because he got everybody. And it was just one emoji. Those eye emojis. I'm gonna put the tweet up here in a minute. But as Pistons fans, everyone panicked and caused a lot of chaos. And then all of a sudden, virtually out of nowhere there were unverified twitter accounts saying that the pistons and the hawks were in trade negotiations because blake griffin put it that tweet and trey young posted something similar it was all a bunch of hogwash the reason he did this was on his podcast that he was on which i'm gonna put that picture up here i don't have the link for it because it is itunes uh just someone posted it on twitter I'm sure you guys can find it if you do your research, but I did find the clip of him saying that if you just put one emoji out there at this time of the season, everyone freaks out. So it was really, I guess, just an experiment to ruse everybody. I said this the other day, and I'm sure I've said it a thousand times. I'll probably say it a million more. This is Tom Gores' dude. You're not going to trade him. Tom Gores got him here to put butts in the seats and make money. Now, unless Blake Griffin doesn't draw anybody else in, which, as far as I know, everyone here loves Blake Griffin, and rather you want to keep him or not, it's because of how good he is. Uh, his contract is, is the iffy thing, but we're not talking about his money right now. Tom Gores brought him here to make his money. Tom Gores is not about to ship him out for anything, unless it's someone better than Blake Griffin. And you know what? I wouldn't even say better. I would say more popular because Tom Gores to me is just not <clears throat> a winning owner. Like he wants to be in the playoffs and he wants to win a championship, but top priority is being recognized and making money. <clears throat> Blake Griffin is his boy. Andre Drummond is his boy. They're not going to go anywhere. So that's why when all these trade rumors circle around, I mean, they might be true. They might be talking. But, you know, that's your job as an NBA front office is to at least entertain the idea. Because, you know, sooner or later, there will be a trade offer that is going to be very hard to refuse. Sooner or later, the Pistons will make a trade. How big or small it is, that we don't know. But the front office's job is to take every phone call and to see what the market is out there for players, even your players. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low. But at the end of the day... Tom Gortz has to improve, or not improve, but what's the word? A approve. There we go, Drew. God, he has to approve trade offers, uh, especially for those two players, because those are his guys. He grooms them. Those are like his brothers. They party. I'm sure they party. It's Tom Gortz we're talking about. The dude parties. But yeah, Tom Gortz especially is not going to get rid of Blake Griffin after just acquiring him. I don't believe any of the trade rumors that are out there for Blake Griffin. Andre, that might be a little bit of a difficult... Um, I don't know. I don't really have anything to back that one up besides that's Tom Gores' dude. So, I think we just need to chillax. I know we all want something to happen to help improve this team. But, you guys have to look at the salary cap situation for this team. We're very limited right now. We don't have a lot of money to work with. It's going to be tough to draw in a free agent. A good one. We can draw in some quality free agents for lower prices, probably on one-year deals. Because next season is when Josh Smith's contract stops. We don't pay him anymore, thank the Lord. But we're going to have a lot more money to spend to get a quality free agent to help us be a better team and contend in the East. Because the East might be wide open next season, depending on if Kawhi Leonard stays or leaves. Even if he stays in the East, if he goes to a different team in the East, that could be completely different. 
uh, Kyrie Irving has limited his two teams to either the Brooklyn Nets or the LA Lakers. That's another good playoff spot for the taking, depending on if Boston can adjust to it or not. So, I mean, there's a couple of free agents out there. Uh, Jimmy Butler in Philly and Tobias in Philly. There's some free agents out here in the East that might go to different teams, so it might get worse. They might make some other teams better. So the East is going to be wide open. The Pistons have a short gap here of, you know, being uh, eighth to sixth seed. I, I think they could be a fifth seed right now at best. Uh, and then before that, or I guess I should say after that, have a quality free agent come in there to help get you in the top four in the East and really make a run. So we just got to stay patient, man. Like I said, we are closer to being good than we are being bad. Trust me. Trust me, NBA is all about um, analytics right now. And analytics are showing that we're going to have a lot of money in the next couple of years to spend. Blake Griffin and Andre will still have, uh, Blake health-wise should have another good quality of season next year. And I don't know, just after that, it's just going to be how much he's just going to decline. But I think Blake Griffin has made the right steps in his game to protect himself from injury. He's not relying on his athleticism. He's a shooter, playmaking forward, and he's a really damn good one. And I think he's going to be good for another few years before he starts to decline again. So Andre's only going to get better. Andre's just starting to enter his prime. So be with that what you will. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, we just overreacted a little bit to the tweet. But that being said... Uh, Instagram, Twitter links in the description. Be sure to check the O's out. <clears throat> Be sure to check those out, man. I'm getting all choked up today. Uh, in the description as well as all the DSA members, Piston Center Court is going to be on Troxel Sports Talks channel. Uh, be sure to check him out and subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And uh, I think that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you peeps in the next one. Peace.